welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my April and May TBR because April's almost over and I have not gotten to read much at all. At all. So let's get into it. So the first book, well, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I have recently purchased these three books. They are now on my April May TBR and there's also one more book on that list that I don't have yet because it's not out yet. But I'm excited to be picking that one up also soon. So without further ado, let's start talking about what I'm hoping to read in April and May. All right, so first one we've got here is The Raven Boys. And this is one that I've heard a lot about on booktube. People seem to really enjoy it. And so I had a gift card at Barnes & Noble and decided, you know, I should probably check it out. I know nothing about it really. I don't even, I don't even remember what the back says. But I'm hoping this one lives up to the hype and we'll see how I enjoy it. Next on the list is Six of Crows. And I know, I know I'm late to this party. Apparently Six of Crows is amazing and it's gonna blow my mind. And I really hope it does. I think I was hesitant to pick Six of Crows up because I didn't really enjoy the Shadow of Bone trilogy. It just was bland to me. The characters were bland. The world building was interesting and I was, I appreciated the fact that it wasn't traditional like Western medieval period fantasy. It was something very different and I respect that. So I know that this takes place in the same universe. I'm excited to see the universe expand, but apparently her writing really, Leigh Bardugo's that is, apparently it really matures in this one and you can feel her growth as a writer. And I'm really hoping so. This one's supposed to be pretty character centric. And I really just needed more of that from the Shadow and Bone trilogy than I got. So yes, Six of Crows. I'm excited, but also kind of nervous to read it. I just want to finish it before the Shadow and Bone Netflix show comes out. Because from what I've understood on Lee Bardugo's Instagram page, if you've read the first Six of Crows book and you've read the Shadow and Bone trilogy, that's pretty much all that the show will cover. So I'm hoping that this is enough for me to fully understand who all the characters are and not have too many things spoiled in the series if I should choose to keep going with it in the future. This duology, I should say. Yeah, Six of Crows. All right, the last physical copy of a book that I have that's on the TBR is Legendborn. I have just heard only good things about. I know that it is going to kind of play with some Arthurian legends, so King Arthur, the Round Table, that kind of stuff, and I'm really excited about that. I've tried a few other King Arthur retellings, and they were bad. They just did not do the legends justice. So I'm really hopeful about this one. The cover is stinking gorgeous. Like, holy cow, look at this. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to judge books by their covers, but I can't help myself sometimes. I also know that this book is going to delve into some deeper topics, such as racial injustice and the experiences of a young black woman in the United States, I believe. From what I've heard, don't quote me on that, but I'm really looking forward to getting to read it and hopefully have my worldview challenged in some way. I always love when a book or a series can make me learn something new or challenge my way of thinking. It, I feel, broadens my horizons and helps me to better connect with the, those around me and the world around me. So I'm excited to learn, hopefully, and also enjoy some good magic and world building because that's what I need in my life. The final book that is on my TBR for the next couple of months is the new From Blood and Ash novel, which is gonna be, I think, Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And that comes out in just a few days from the time of me filming this video. So I don't have the physical copy yet because I can't. Although Jennifer L. Armentrout, if you are ever watching this, I'm obsessed with your books and would love to be on your PR list slash send me your pre-reading screening. I don't know what it's called, but please send me these books. I am a huge fan. So I'll definitely pick that one up. I read the first two this last month 
and enjoyed them. They were fine, but the ending of the second one seal the deal. I have to read this next one. So I'm looking forward to that. Love me some good high fantasy, and that's definitely what this series is. All right, that is all that I have for the next few months as far as books go at the moment, because my TBR seems to be ever changing and expanding, and I keep adding books when I have not finished the ones that I have. So we'll see if I can behave myself and not buy too many more. But that's all I have. Thanks for hanging out and just checking in with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful week. See you later!